you guys and welcome back to vlogmas day six i believe it is saturday um and it's about well it's nine o'clock now because it's taken me like 25 minutes to get my camera to work it every day it'll say that there's like an error that comes up on my um on my camera and i looked it up it said that there's like i've applied too much pressure on the lens like cleaning it or something um and it said to just take out the battery and then re-put it back in and it should remove the error. But I did that like three times before I actually worked. So here we are. At least it's working. Um, I'm going to take my camera along with me today um, to see if I can get um, some settings adjusted or something to figure out how to fix that error. Or if it's just there. Maybe I've ruined my lens. I don't know. Um... But I want to get some answers because it's not that old. It's like only six months old. Um, so yeah, I um, am going to get a workout in. Sammy got home this morning at like 7.30. And so I caught up with him a little bit um, and laid in bed. And then decided to get up and start my day. It's freezing in this house. Um, <laughs> he literally was so cold when he got into bed. Um... So, turned our heat up. Hopefully that kicks in because I'm still freezing. Um, and I'm sure the workout will warm me up. I'm just going to do a 30-minute Peloton ride, I think. Um, and then I'm going to head to the mall today. Um, super excited. I feel like I never go shopping anymore. I always shop online. Um, just because it's, like, more convenient. And um, you can see reviews of things and stuff like that. Um, but I am just in the mood for an actual shopping day. So, and there's a lot of things that I need to get. We adopted a family, two families at our school. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a school nurse. Um, so we adopted a few families. And so I want to get them some stuff and it's due on Monday. And then, um, I still have like a lot of little Christmas gift things I need to get out of the way. And, um for family and things like that and then um I do have to take back I ordered a bunch of stuff from Aritzia like quite a while ago and um one of the pants did not fit like at all and I love them so like I wanted to exchange them and they don't do exchanges online and they if you want to return them it's like a service fee or whatever so I didn't even know we had an Aritzia in Michigan um but I looked one up and, well, I looked one up a while ago, like, when I first was going to return them. And there's one in um, Plymouth area. Well, they say it's Troy. So, um, but it's at the Somerset Mall, if you're familiar with Michigan. And they have, like, every single store there. So, I've been wanting to do that for, like, months now and just haven't. So, hopefully they still let me return those. Um... But I figured today would be the perfect day. I have no plans. Sammy doesn't really like shopping. And I like to go by myself anyways. I don't feel like rushed. And I only need to go to the stores that I want to go to. And um, so that way if I want to be quick, I can be quick. And if I want to take my time, I can take my time. So I'm excited to go shopping. And I figured I would take you guys along with me for Vlogmas. Um, I'm sure the mall will be all decorated for Christmas. Um... But first, I'm going to get on work out. I'm drinking some water. And it feels so good to just be able to go out to dinner, have a couple drinks with friends, and then come home and go to bed early and still be up at a decent time to start my day. Because Sammy and I were talking. It's like we enjoy beer too much. <laughs> Sounds stupid. But we it's like we go out with friends or family. And we just end up drinking way more than planned and then we feel like crap the next day and then we're just like lazy all weekend and it's just horrible. It's not, it's not the best feeling. Um, and Sammy has been so productive around the house the last few days he's had off um, that I've been working. So um, yeah, I'm going to go shopping and then hopefully I can come back and pick up the house a little bit more there's nothing like much that needs to be done but just like wiping down counters and my mom brought over a bunch of christmas decorations that i need to like find place for them and then um 
I need to put away some laundry. I don't know if I already said that. <laughs> um, because I have like a pile of laundry from Sammy over the week. He did all of our laundry and now it's just all sitting on our guest bedroom bed. So, yeah. Guys, this is the fit. I just have on these um, Levi jeans that I actually got from Amazon and they're really good. Um, and then this um, cropped tee is from Aritzia, it's the TNA tee. And then this jacket is from Free People. Um, necklace is from Amazon, earrings I got forever ago. I don't even know, I need new hoops. Um, and then I just put on my um, Air Forces to go with it. Nothing too crazy, just very casual. Um, I always get really hot at the mall, especially like trying on stuff and then it's gonna be packed probably so um i don't want to like bring a heavy coat but it's really cold outside so i figured this was like warm enough to wear outside but then like light enough to walk around in so hopefully that works um i literally didn't do anything to my hair it's been like this i needed to wash it <laughs> tomorrow um but then i just did some um charlotte tilbury flawless filter foundation um and uh sunscreen and then the um uh perfect brow gel i think it's called i don't know but brow gel and that's literally it um my face has been super dry this winter so i don't want to put on like heavy makeup because it just seems to be like flaking off so this is it i warmed up some cinnamon toast and just put some butter on it and then to tide me over and then I'm going to um, pick up some Starbucks on the way to the mall. Does anybody else absolutely hate leaving their dogs or just like feel guilty? I don't know. I always feel guilty leaving them. Um, but I don't know why because they were sleeping literally when I left. They were so tired and <clears throat> today right now it's 10 45 and i'm just leaving the house so um they still got to play with them and stuff for a little bit this morning and hang out with them um and i'll be home before sammy leaves probably i hope so that's the goal at least um sammy sleeps all day so he's home with them um and he'll probably like wake up and let them out in the middle of the day and then um I'll be home by the time he leaves. He leaves the house at, depending on if he's supervisor or not. If he's supervisor, he goes in at 5.15. And then if he is just playing regular nurse that day, then he goes in at um, 6, I think. But either way, I'm hoping to be home by then. Um, so they will be just fine. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys too of the snow that we got last night not like a ton but it actually looks pretty when it's not all like inches on inches of snow with like puddles of mud on the ground after we've been in winter for a few months it's really pretty making a quick pit stop we're like eight minutes away but i really had to pee so pulled off an exit to grab some Starbucks and use the bathroom. That literally took so long to get a, a Starbucks drink. Um, I felt like I was in there forever. I was in line and there was only two people ahead of me and then I was stupid and got out of line to like look at the cups and stuff. And when I turned back around, there was like a whole slew of people that had just walked in. So then I had to get to the end of the line. There was a bunch of people in front of me and I guess there was like a bunch of pickup orders because it just seemed like there was people that were ahead of me that had already gotten their drinks and I was still sitting there waiting for like 15 minutes longer and um, they were handing out like the little four tray of drinks to people that were just just then walking in. I'm like, what the heck, they just got here. So obviously they were doing like the pickup, um, but it's fine. I got the cute... Um, Louis Vuitton inspired Starbucks cup it's not gonna focus but I got a Americano with 
um, two pumps of white mocha and what else? Salted caramel cold foam. So let's try it. Mmm, it's really good. It's like hot, but then the cold foam on top that's cold, it like is a good, good mixture. Mmm, really good. Highly recommend. Alright, you guys, we're finally here at the mall. I feel like it took forever to get here. Um, it is an hour and a half drive, um, but that stop at Starbucks took a really long time. Um, I was supposed to get here by like noon and it's after one, so I'm going to get in and start shopping. I forget how large this mall is. I feel like they've added on to it. There's literally a freaking bridge that you can like walk across and the road is underneath you. Um, but they have tons of great stores and so I'm going to be here for probably a while, so I want to get started so I'm not here all night. Okay, I'm in my car. I'm just leaving the mall. It is almost 6 and I have like an hour and a half drive home. So I'll get home about 7.30. Um, a little bit later than I wanted to. But I also got here a little bit later. Um, and I forgot how freaking huge this mall is. I know I've said, I said it when I got here. But walking it was insane. I literally walked. It's three stories and there's two sides. And I think that I walked all of it and like every single store that you can think of is in there even like furniture stores um only thing that they didn't have in there that I wanted to look at was Crate and Barrel um but that's okay um I did some damage in Lululemon I literally forget how expensive Lululemon is because I don't really shop there that much and I went in there and just grabbed a bunch of stuff that I thought Sammy would like and they told me my total. <laughs> Yikes. Um, and that was the first store that I bought stuff at. So like after that I was like, mm, I do not want to spend any more money. Um, and does anyone else like try to make it through the whole way around the mall because they want to hit everything and end up like feeling like they're going to pass out because they just forget to eat because I did that today. And I feel like... I feel like that happens to me every time I go shopping in a mall and um that's why I like feel like I hate shopping at the mall and like to do it all online um but yeah it was packed a lot of walking my feet hurt very expensive and I'm ready to call it a night and drive home I'll show you guys everything that I got um but I ended up stopping at Beyond Juice, Beyond Juicery, I think it's called. I don't know. But there was, like, lines to get food everywhere, and I couldn't find the food court. <laughs> of course, I found it, like, right after I ate, which is fine. The Beyond Juicery was, they had, like, good options. But I ordered a uh, bacon chicken ranch wrap, thinking it would just be literally a bacon chicken ranch wrap. But no, it had... Um, <clears throat> super spicy chipotle on it and or barbecue sauce or something but it was so spicy and I'm not a spicy gal it was too much like I was starving about to pass out so I just ate it but it was terrible <laughs> um it would have been good it would have been really good without the all that spice on it but anyways moral of the story don't forget to eat and don't forget to go to the bathroom. I was in Aerie trying on pants and I was about to pee my pants. And I wanted to buy a pair of pants because they have like super cute flare um, leggings there that are really comfortable. And I tried on, they have like multiple different styles. So I wanted to try on what I thought I would like and literally was about to pee my pants. So I ran out of there and had to find a bathroom like ASAP. So yeah. I'm going to get heading home since it's going to be another hike back. Do you guys hear how freaking obnoxious that is? Like, 
what the heck? Why? I just, I don't get it. I really don't. I am about 20 minutes from home. I decided to stop at the Target close to my house um, because I need a few things from there and I don't feel like having to get out and drive again tomorrow. So I figured it's on my way home. I might as well do it tonight and then tomorrow I can just be home and have like a chill um, day cleaning and getting stuff done around the house. And Sammy's off tomorrow too, so that way I can spend time with him and not have to worry about that. Um, but right now I am getting gas, um, and then I'll head to Target and pick up some stuff. All right, we're out of Target. I'm already hungry, and I feel like I just ate, but probably because I really didn't eat much today, and I like scarfed down that wrap because it was horrific. Um, but does anyone else spy on their parents? <laughs> Because that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but it's 8 o'clock now. And I actually got some really cute stuff to wrap the Christmas gifts in from Target. I honestly didn't think that I would find anything because I figured they would be all sold out by now. Because I'm kind of late to the game. Um, but I'm excited to show you guys what I got. And I'm excited to get home and be with my babies. I feel like all I've been vlogging this whole time is me talking to you guys in the car. Because I just didn't feel comfortable pulling out my camera at the mall. Because it was packed and then I didn't feel comfortable um, in Target either. Um, I just wanted to like get in and out too. So I was trying to be quick. But... I will show you guys everything when I get home. All right, we are home and my face is washed, makeup's off, I'm cozied up. Um, but I want, really wanna sit on the floor to show you guys everything that I got. But the dogs are gonna be up my butt, I already know, cause they're already following me everywhere. Which I can't blame them cause I've been gone all day. But to start off, I can show you guys one of the things that I, hey. Knock it off. I can show you guys. <clears throat> I got this today. It is a Soma robe. And I'm obsessed with it. It is so warm and cozy. Um, I wanted to find a robe today. And I looked at... Um, <clears throat> where did I see them? Um, at Nordstrom. They had like a ton of different brands of them. And um, I almost got the Nordstrom brand because it was on sale. And <coughs> it was on sale still for like 80 something. So it was still pretty expensive. But I wanted it to be like good quality, nice one. And right after I left Nordstrom, I walked past the Soma store, which I've never gotten anything from there. But they had like robes right in the front. And it said that um, all pajamas and robes were uh 40 percent off i think i don't know but um let me see where my tag is yeah okay so this robe is originally 78 dollars and i got it for 40 dollars 39.99 and it's so comfy um and then i also got these socks um <clears throat> at work we're doing a holiday gift exchange and um we always do like uh fuzzy socks is one of the things that goes in the basket and then it's like a bunch of other like gift cards and things that they like but um these were on sale for five bucks and they're really soft so i picked up those and then um Show you guys what I got since I started with what I got for myself first. I picked up a good chunk from Zara. Um, I've always thought that Zara is super expensive. I've only ever shopped there once and it was just last year, like actually in store. Um, everything else I've ordered from them was online. But I really like to shop in store because some of their quality isn't the greatest and they can be pretty pricey. But today I felt like 
um everything that i got was like reasonably priced compared to all the other places so this is the first thing that i got a little vest i thought it was so cute and let's see so i got this size small and it fits kind of oversized um i'm normally a medium but it was 119 dollars, which i didn't think was that bad for like the quality of it i mean it's fur and like leather so i thought it was really nice um let me see if there's a name on it I don't know. I don't know the name of it. There's nothing on the tag to tell you. But I thought that was so cute. The dogs are still up my butt, even when I'm standing. I know, I love you. I love you. I've been wanting a turtleneck, and I saw this one. They had a bunch of different colors. Um, but i really like the green just because i feel like a lot of the stuff i've been wearing is just like black and white neutral stuff and this is a size medium it's super comfy i tried it on it was like shocked by how comfy it actually was um and this was twenty dollars that is that and then oh my gosh i saw this the last thing I needed was another sweater, but I'm obsessed. It's like a vintage-y, um, neutral. I just thought it was really, really cute. And it was like a, not an oversized sw fit sweater, so you could make it more dressy, I guess. Um, this I got in a medium, and it was 50 So cute. And then the last thing from there, so um, I also wanted to find a coat today because um, I've really been looking for like a gray or tan just like throw over coat like this and I almost bought one at Nordstrom. I literally carried it around the store and was about to go check out and then I was like, oh, I just can't fathom spending that much money when um, I had just spent so much money at Lululemon and um then I went to Zara and found this one and it was great price so I'm really happy I didn't get the other one because it's good quality it's really soft it's cozy um I got it in a large so that way I could wear like sweatshirts and stuff underneath it um but it was only $50 so I thought that was a really good price made a bunch of different colors too but I liked the gray I actually put it on with the outfit that I had on at the mall today and it was really cute together. I really wanted to find some really cute like fluffy earmuffs. Couldn't find any that I liked. They had one pair that I saw but it was like a gray cheetah print and I just wanted like a tan neutral color. Um, so I did not get those. Um, and then I also wanted to get jeans today but i so i got a pair of a goldie jeans um and for those of you that don't know they are like a pretty expensive jean um but i got a pair last year for christmas from my parents and they are adorable they are my favorite i wore them all the time well my booty and my legs <laughs> um gained some weight so the last like couple of months because of doing the peloton and stuff um but so they started to like fit me tighter like just right in the thighs and the butt area and there was a hole like right back here right underneath the butt cheek it was just like a tiny little hole and i wore them one day uh probably like it's been a couple months now and it like totally ripped and <clears throat> now i always pull to grab those jeans but now the hole like just keeps getting bigger and bigger the more that i wear them and now I feel like I have no jeans to wear. Um, like, I like the Levi's that I had on today. Um, but those aren't, like, holy or anything. Um, so I wear those a lot to work. But I just want another pair of those, honestly. And so, but I know a lot of people love, like, Abercrombie and Fitch and American Eagle jeans. So I went to those stores today and tried on jeans. But they just didn't do 
didn't give me the same <clears throat> vibes that the a goldie jeans do so i'm just gonna have to bite the bullet even though they're expensive and get on and order another pair i'll probably wait like after christmas but um definitely will be worth it because i will wear them all the time on to the lulu lemon bags we went a little crazy and i don't even know if he's gonna like this stuff but i literally just started grabbing things and i was like whatever if he doesn't like it he can take it back but um yeah I got him this sweatshirt. I love the material of this. And when I was checking out, the guy that was checking me out at the register said that he just bought this and that it's like super comfy. Um, so this, I got it in a medium because he has been wearing, he usually gets larges and none of his clothes fit him anymore. So I got him everything in a medium, which he's probably going to be mad about, but he needs medium. So this is the at ease half zip. He came with sweatpants. So this, I feel like he's probably gonna hate. Um, Sammy's not a fashionable guy at all. That's why I decided to go to Lululemon to get him stuff because I was like, he really needs new clothes that fit him. And I hate picking out clothes for him because he's like very simple, very basic. And I like fashionable stuff. So some things I pick out, he's like, oh yeah, I like that. And then other times he's like, that's hideous. So I'm like, I don't want to go try to pick out a bunch of stuff for him. And I suck at making decisions. So all Lululemon stuff is like great quality, lasts forever. And um, he keeps stuff forever. And um, they're all like neutral colors and um, basic. But I don't think he's ever worn joggers. And I don't know if he will, but I'm hoping to get him too because I am obsessed. Even if he doesn't wear like the pants and the sweatshirt together, I just think that oh, they're amazing. So these are the at ease jogger. And then I got him, he looks so good in maroon. So I got him this long sleeve. Um, this is the ventilated hiking long sleeve. So that. And then another pair of joggers because I'm like, if he does like them, these are just like a good basic black pair. But these are more like a windbreaker type of material. Uh, these are called the Surge Jogger. We'll see. Then, then I just got him a basic hoodie sweatshirt. This is the City Sweat Pullover hoodie. So... Yeah, like very basic things, but that was the point, so. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to have to hide these bags so he doesn't know when I got him. And then I got him this really pretty blue colored long sleeve shirt. Um, and this is called the Metal Vent Tech LS 2.0. I feel like this is their, like, classic shirt that, like, Lululemon is known for that material. Um, and then, last thing is this super nice jacket, which he has a black one like this, so I don't even know if he's going to want this. But his black one's really old, and he was talking about getting a new jacket the other day. So I saw this, and I was, like, obsessed with it. And it's the material in the inside. It's so soft. Um, this is called, they had this in black, too. Um, this is called Cross Chill Jacket. So I got it in a medium, and I'm wondering if maybe I should have gotten it in a large. But that's okay. We can always return anything that he doesn't want. 
Um, hold on, let me put back all that stuff and hide it into some other bag so that way he doesn't know that I got him all the new lemon clothes because I told him I bought him stuff today. So I'm going to hide that and then I'll show you guys what I got at Target. Okay, so I hid Sammy's clothes in my car for now because I'm going to try to wrap everything tomorrow um, while he's sleeping. So, um, and then I put my clothes away too. So, got that taken care of. And then I'm going to show you guys the wrapping paper that I got. So, I got this big one. It is Christmas trees with like little, a bit of gold um, dots. But it's like a pretty neutral one. And then I got this, um says Merry Christmas all over it. Get it to focus. There we go. It's just like a pink and red writing. Thought that was cute. And then I got this um, to wrap around the gifts. I got this one for the Christmas tree wrapping paper. And then I got this one for the Merry Christmas wrapping paper. And then I got these, how cute, to tie around. And then these bells, so freaking cute. All this is from Target. And then I got a couple packs of these for like name tags i thought that was so adorable so i'll show you guys when i do that um last year i did um just like a gold wrapping paper with a really pretty huge bow so i've never done like the twine type of stuff so we'll see how it goes uh what else did i get and then for our tree, I was telling you guys if you watch my previous vlogs that I wanted to do uh, silver ribbon on the tree. So I got two packs of those just in case because I didn't know how much it was going to take. And then I needed some new all-purpose cleaner. So I just got the Myers Lavender. And then Loki does not like to wear a sweater. And the other two girls have a sweater. So I got him this little bandana to wear because he just gets way too hot. So that is officially the end of my haul. I'm going to try to clean some of this stuff up. And then I got a couple of packages today. So I'm going to open those. And um, that's all wedding stuff. So that will be a different vlog. But... Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this stuff. I think it, they'll turn out really cute as long as I can get it cute. So I will show you guys once I do all of that. But it's now 9, almost 9.30. So I'm going to sit down and see if I can get the rest of the Christmas shopping done that I need to online um, that I couldn't find today. And then um, just kind of relax for the rest of the night, I guess, because I'm beat um, I ate some spinach dip with pita and then, um, I just need to chug some water, I think, because I'm just really thirsty. But, yeah, I think I am going to, um, end the night here and continue to vlog tomorrow since all you've listened to me is talk. But I'm going to look and see how much footage we have left, so, um, we'll see. Stay tuned. <laughs>